First fight of the night then. First fight in one championship history. Joshua Pasio. Turns and knuckles in off the right hand. Here are the elbows off the left from Pasio. Elbow punch is coming down. Now he's attacking the body. I mean, Chuck's trying to bridge out, but he's got to let go of the body lock on Pasio. Big elbow again from Joshua Pasio. Just past the halfway point of the opening round, and it's dominance here from the young Filipino. Good hip pressure. He's got his legs sprawled out. He's pressing down on his hips. See that hip pressure? Mami Chang can't go anywhere. Now he's looking for possibly an arm triangle, but he's got to give up Mount and go over to the other side. Is it going to happen for Joshua Pasha? Can he find the finish on Mami Chang? It's a tough spot to finish. He's got to get over onto the side. The arm triangle, he chooses to let it go. And Mami Chang survives. And Pascio, it's all one-way traffic. Still in the full mount. How does Lan Ming Chung get out of this match? He's got to push off the hips and start bumping and elevate the hips of Joshua Pascio and then slide his hips out. He's got a bad spot. He's choosing to defend the strikes. In that spot, you know you're going to get hit. He's got a great scramble. He's trying to pull up for the ground and pan. And Lan Ming Chung gets his back. The reunite it. Pascio said it, finish it with the reunite. The body triangle. Tries to step on the choke again. This crowd is deafening for Joshua Pascio. Can he find the finish? Oh, as Lamy Chuck pushes up one arm, Joshua Pascio. by City of Prince. Against that Filipino Wushu style of Joshua Paschal. Contrast the style. Should make some change the match out. Place will be jam packed at about 20 minutes, half an hour's time. 
They are watching Joshua Pascio in control, full mount on Ponsiri Mitsutin in the opening round. Here's the one hand from Pascio. Already one win on the board tonight for Team Philippines, courtesy of Rene Catalan with an upset over Stephen Lahari. He predicted submission by Triangle Mitch. Can it be prophetic here for Pascio? See, he's trying to get that arm underneath. This is what he's been working on. He's got to just kind of, you know, ignore the posture. And put his hands on the hips of Send Manila into a meltdown in the last match of our privilege. To look at the right, you see that left hand of Pashiao is underneath it, cradling that arm there. So he can use the right hand to try to get underneath the chin. Close. Try to get underneath the behind him to settle down a little bit lower. Mitsutin is undefeated, 9 and 0. Oh. He may be staring down the barrel of his first ever loss. Look at Josh and Pasha. He is! 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 Pasha tucks him out! Michael, we got to take a new look at that position. He was in the back position. Let's see if he goes to Wushu early on, Pasha. We know he cuts him out he fights up the left hook of the champion. Trade left hooks. Katalan was able to touch Pascal. Ooh, he starts spinning again. The way he's found a home for that heel right on the tummy of Katalan. This is where Pascal is most dangerous. That head kick against Saruto was a thing of beauty. This open range right here, Katalan can just pick and, uh, sorry, Pascal can just pick and choose his weapons. You know the stand-up skill of Rui Catalan, a multiple world champion in Wushu, but also the wrestling of Catalan. Hey. Puts hands on Pascio, picks him up and goes for the big boom shakalaka. He's got huge takedowns. But can he score one on Pascio? Looks for a single leg. Pascio sprawls out nicely. Defends the takedown attempt. Easily sprawls on the takedown there of Catalan. Catalan's legs seem a little bit wobbly, not fully underneath him at this point. I think something might be going wrong with the knee or the ankle. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was that toe block that Pascal had, but his, his legs seem a little bit unsteady in the standing position. Now Pascal's on top, working that half guard position. Pascal's had a busy year. His third match of 2019. His busiest year since 2016, where he competed six times, going five and one. Inside the half guard at the moment, top position for the champion in the ring. Pascal might be trying to set up maybe an arm triangle, jumping to the other side. You can see how he's grinding his head up, upwards into that arm, so he's trying to lift the arm of Rene Catalan up, but he can't do it from this side. He's gonna have to jump to the other side if he wants to sink in this arm triangle, but it's kind of there for him. Now he's going into mount, the head is still there. If he can pass the other leg over, he might have an arm triangle. And there's a time not long ago. Yep, there it is. See if he steps over. Now he's in full mount. Not quite set up correctly, but if he swings over to the other side, he can do it in full mount. Now he's got it locked in. Now, now he's that's a turn. spot. Is this the time for Pascio to take the win? Catalan's in trouble. Catalan's in big trouble. Pascio's got a good squeeze. He's got a good squeeze here. The Grimace yep. in the face is about to tap out. Got a wrap. Is he about to tap out? He is, he is, he is. It's over. It's good night, Irene. Joshua Pascio retakes the title. Joshua Pascio taps out. Renee Cutler. That was beautiful. You saw the way he was setting it up. You could see what he was doing.